y'all welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kaya and this bang and today i will be taking out my braids and oof you see that that's my colored hair so as you can see i'm looking pre pretty frizzy um flaky disgusting um so yeah, I'm going to talk about my braids and take them out at the same time. So it's not just like me just taking out my braids. I'm going to talk about my experience with them because I did have braids um, in January. And I kept them in for a month. And also this time I kept them in for almost a month. Tomorrow would be a month, but I'm taking out taking them out today because I have nothing else to do today. I just got back from... A trip in I went to Ohio so yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split up my hair I think I'm gonna just go like this I don't know where to cut it I think right here it's good I have some scissors just regular scissors Oh, I forgot to get a bag. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna just take this out because that's not working for me. And I'll just keep it like this. So I have 10 things to talk about. Oh, and I need to keep track of time. It's currently 3.40 p.m. and I'm starting my hair now. And then I'll tell y'all what time it is once I do take out my hair. And I apologize if I'm looking at myself right here and if I'm looking at my mirror. And then I also might watch my show a little bit in between questions so that it's not just me talking the entire time and then I'm not doing actual work. So to start off, I'm gonna start off talking about things I would want to know about braids. So yeah, um, to start off, I'm gonna talk about one problem that I had with my braids, which I mentioned already which is my dry scalp. I came to the realization that I have scalp psoriasis. I think that's what it's called. And it happens be it happened before when I used to straighten my hair, but now it doesn't happen that often because I don't wear my hair straight anymore. So, yeah. Maybe I'll just insert what scalp psoriasis is and um i noticed it probably after a week and a half which i wash my hair normally every week or less than that so that's one reason why it happened i didn't want to wash my hair because my hair was growing pretty fast and it was very frizzy already so i didn't want to add more friction to my roots and make it even more frizzier when my hair wasn't even that old so I just was like whatever I'm not washing my hair and yeah so that's what happened the way I treated my dry scalp is I moisturized every night or almost every night and basically I overloaded my hair or my scalp with oil just because I felt that was what was needed because it was very bad that's what i did and then um also with scalp psoriasis you may get um sores or scabs on your scalp which happened with me and i'm cutting like this much so i started getting scabs on my scalp which isn't cute so me being me I mess with them a lot or like I'm just scratching my hair because it itches so sometimes they would bleed and I had one really bad one so what I ended up doing is using my tea tree oil from Walmart I got the Shea Moisture brand and I have some aloe vera gel I just took both of those and I mixed it together because when I researched like what you should do and everything I found that those two things should help so there was one night when I only used tea tree oil and then another night when I used the aloe vera gel. Both of, I think when I used, when I mixed it together with the aloe vera gel, it worked very well. When I used only tea tree oil, it made my scalp 
um, feel a little bit better and but then the scab came back but once I used the aloe vera gel I haven't felt it since then and it was like in the middle of my head okay so I just took out some more braids and I'm about to do these so I'm gonna cut these and talk so I'm, oh so now I'm gonna talk about initial I wrote initial what is that supposed to mean I guess my initial thoughts when I got them so I really do like my braids or whatever um so initially when I got my braids done they were very tight like my head was hurting it didn't hurt to a point where I had a headache but like if I touch something I would be like oh my gosh so normally I do have a headache when I get them done, but this time I didn't. Ugh. And I think by day two is when they started to loosen up, but still my hairstylist, she did a side part right here. And this lady also does my mom's hair. And as you can see, my center part isn't in the center. This is the center. My mom gets her hair done, or she has been getting her hair done by her for like two or three years. So this is a lady we know. And my mom said that she actually always forgets to do a center part when she does my mom's hair. And I didn't know this. So of course, when I finished getting my hair done, I realized it when I was trying to style my hair so yeah that's one thing that kind of bothered me but it was like whatever like if you don't notice it then oh well um but it was really tight and I also noticed that my front braids were very stiff well all of them were stiff but I have a picture you could see that they curve in instead of just like lay down you know like natural hair would lay down it just sits there and yeah i can insert a picture of that and yeah so those were my initial thoughts about my braids some build up right there probably from like the gels and everything but you could see my hair grew about a centimeter i would say that looks like a centimeter to me my hair doesn't feel dry it actually feels very moisturized because like i said i used a lot of oil because i wanted my hair to grow and that's one of the best ways to help it grow with some oils so now i'm gonna talk about my edges which I kind of touched on them already, but I'll touch on them again. Also, I noticed that around my edges, as you can see, I have a lot of hair out. I don't know what that's about, but that happened. I can insert more pictures of like the first day, how my edges looked, and then you can see by, I don't know what day it was, but I'll put the day on the screen. By whatever day I put, um, that's when my edges came. I don't know if they came out of the braid, if they grew or what happened, but yeah, I wasn't too happy about that because it makes it more difficult to do your edges. Like the first day, the second day, and the third day was pretty easy because it wasn't too much hair to work with and you could make it look natural and yeah, so I just kind of adapt to however my edges want to be. I don't like to shove them, but I can tell y'all what I did do is you can see, like right there, you can see all this hair. I took it and then I twisted it inside of my braid when I did my edges. That way it 
wasn't just sitting there like I don't know how to explain it like it wouldn't if I left it like that as you can see it would just be sitting there and just a clump of hair so I would twist it into my braid and it would look better that way um, so the whole time when I did my edges you can see how over time there was more and more hair and I used I did my edges the same way I normally did them I use eco styling gel and then I used edge control and I just did them every day and then at night I wash my face in the shower so what I when I wash my face I use a baby cloth so I just used that after I washed my face. I used it on my edges and I just kind of just washed out the gel and everything because I didn't want it to build up because then um, my pores can get clogged and then I could end up with pimples and I don't want any of that. So I just cut these. Um, these are my edges though. And I can show y'all what I did to make the extra hair go in there. I saw this on a YouTube video, um, how it was this female who made her edges or her braids look fresh, even when they were old. And I just take a piece of hair and I stick it in there and then I just twist the braid and then it'll make it appear as if I just got it redone or something. And that way it looks tighter and fresh basically like that's how you want your braids to look you want them to look fresh or even a little bit more than that I think one thing that allowed my hair to grow is the fact that I didn't wash it so the oils just stayed in my hair and helped out my hair you know like moisturized it because I'm pretty sure moisture is what helps your hair grow in the first place and then of course if you do other things alrighty so I just finished doing my hair and it is currently 527 so that means it took um, just about an hour and 50 minutes to do my hair so yeah that's how long it took me to take out my braids less than two hours and this is what my hair is looking like um it's a lot of buildup and dirt in my hair so i can't wait to wash it so i'm probably gonna wash it right now and basically i would like to talk about my experience with my braids and how I feel. Currently, I feel like I don't want to get braids again. I will be trying out another hairstyle, which is full locks, which I will do myself. If I was to get braids again, I probably wouldn't want to pay for it. I would definitely try to find somebody who can do it for me for a cheaper price. And this is all of the hair that's in this bag it's a lot of it it's really heavy actually and yeah so i think my hair does appear longer honestly i don't really know this is where we're at right there thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below any questions comments or concerns you may have and subscribe if you want to see more hair videos or videos with me in them because I'm awesome sauce and deuces.